guys. Boo you. What's going on, guys? Boat here. Welcome to the Evolution of Boaty Day 10. So, previously, the last day wasn't that much progress, but the day before that was quite insane. So, today I won't, probably won't get as much progress as before, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to try and get Proselyte Armor sorted by today, so that means I'm going to have to do a bit of rune crafting and some couple of quests. So, it should be a decent progress day, but hopefully, I'll have Proselyte by the end of today. And as long as I've got that, I'm happy with the day. So, starting off, we have ourselves our spins, but we don't have inventory space. So, let's just quickly get some inventory space just in case, even though half of them go into the bank anyway. So what have we got here? We have got ourselves an attack lamp, not bad, and some coins. Not too shabby, but I don't think I'll ever beat the spins I had at the start of the series, but any any lamp is acceptable. So anyways, enjoy the day, please. So my offhand rune skin wouldn't actually buy in the Grand Exchange, so therefore I had to get an assist for it. Can't actually wear it yet, but once I get 50 attack, fair enough. Thank you, sir. Easy quest right here for seven, easy 7,000 fishing experience as well, which has got me... um. The fishing level boy, four minutes and 18 seconds sea slugs, that was quite an easy quest overall. And our spins are going to give us hopefully a fishing lamp is what I'm in the mood for. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but whatever. And 50k, thank you very much. Okay, so we are at room span for a bit. So this might be a bit, well, obviously it's going to just cut out the parts, but I need to get 30 room crafting. I've not actually done room span before. Uh, below, I think I started Runespan at 82 Runecraft, I think I got on Boaty before I Runespan came out, so... At low levels, I'm not sure how fast it'll be, but I mean, things seem like it's like a 20 XP drop, really, just like boosts my like whole level, but I'm sure I've gained 3 levels already, and I've only been here for like a couple of minutes, so it shouldn't take me that long, I think it'll take me no longer than an hour, I think, to get... Actually, it might take me a bit longer than that, I don't think it's a level a minute. So, yeah, I'll just stay here till like, okay, this is ridiculously fast XP, maybe it will take me... Wow, okay then, thank you very much. Okay, 30 room crafting. We click on this and it should say that I can do the slug menace quest. So if I quickly get this off, I'll show you. I need to do I need to do quite a lot of subquests really before I can actually um the hell? Oh I might do that in a minute actually. Where is this quest? Right. Slug menace is I don't know if I've got it, so it's gonna hidden. Yeah, I can't actually see it because I can't do it. Anyways, I need to do a quest like wanted and recruitment drive and lost tribe and so many quests, god damn it. Anyways, I'm going to try and get all these done by today, so let's go to Edgeville. Okay, so we are now one step closer to preparing to dice. Anyways, I'm going to now do the recruitment drive quest quickly. Okay, I'm going to try and do recruitment drive in absolute record speed, let's go. Right, I'm annoyed, this is going to take absolute ages, so yeah, I'm at 5 minutes and 26 seconds by the time I get to this one as the last one. And now we're going to see how long it takes to kill it. Never mind, you can use mage abilities. That makes my life a lot nicer. Sweet. Six minutes and nine seconds. We have completed the proselytes quest. Thank you for that. Time to do some spins. Decent. Very decent. Please don't ruin my character's looks. Oh! Right, it's only the hair. I'll fix that now. Who remembers when the uh, makeover mage cost 3k to use and the hairdresser cost... 500 GP and the clove shop cost a thousand GP. Now it's just all free. I don't get it. Even though that's probably a lot of money to some people. Yes, completed. Black Knight's Fortress got five sixths of the money for a makeover mage. Hell yeah. This quest actually took quite a while, but I'm gonna get. A, oh, I'm almost gonna get a mining level from it. But this quest actually took me 15 minutes, 16 minutes, pretty much to do. But I didn't really know what I was doing, and I did get mixed up a few times. But it's all good because I got some lower runes and some green dragon level. Right, let's see how long this quest wanted takes me. The clock has started, let's go. Gone are the days where they, they had the two centuries on both sides. And when the Cauldron of Thunder was used for the, um... I don't even know the name, the Druid's Ritual or whatever the quest's called. This is definitely the best cutscene out of any quests that I can actually remember, to be fair. But I used to remember loving this part. I actually recorded this part and put it into a video simply because it was so cool. I'm probably not going to look any good, but yeah, you have to admit that's pretty damn sick. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go beat this guy down now, but this quest is taking ages. There we go. So, 31 minutes and 30 seconds it took to do that quest. That took absolutely ages, but I did get some... I don't even know what went wrong, but I did the quest as, like... So well as I could, it just went on forever. It just kept doing things. Oh, a ruby red present. Awesome. Just when I thought I could do it, I need to get 30 Slayer and 30 Thieving. So I'm going to go Slave those. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm 29 Thieving, so that shouldn't take long. And Slayer. Slayer's going to be horrible at my combat. 
Okay, so we have ourselves our plans. Now, first of all, I actually have a daily challenge, which is to go to Primit Plunder. So I'm going to use that, and that should get me to 30 Thieves. Well, I'm, okay, I'm practically about to get it anyway. So it's guaranteed going to get me 30 Thieves. But I might as well do the challenge anyway, because I need to get 53 Thieves for Desert Treasure. So I might as well just get as many levels as I can in the meantime. After that, I'll be going to do some Slayer. I will be following up on that Cave Crawler task that I had a long time ago. I don't know how I'll cope in it, but now my stats are a lot higher than before. So hopefully I should hit a bit better. If not, I'll probably just try and skip the task and then go from there. But if I can actually do the cave crawler task, I will try my best too. It just depends how much experience I actually get from the cave crawlers themselves, really. So, anyway, it's going to run to Primitive Plunder now if it can let me through. It's just, oh, it always takes me so long to work out to do it. Gone are the days when you have to buy a shanty pass for that. They've just cut down on all the costs of RuneScape. Like, used to think it is worth absolutely nothing, but apparently now it is worth it. What's that for free as well? Oh, well, it better not be. 30 thieving. Now to go try that slayer task and see if I get absolutely destroyed. 50 attack, so therefore I can now wield my offhand rune skim and change my Tazar whip to a Tazar whip 6. Yep, sweet. So now my momentum can go on full power and deal a lot more damage now. Anyways, I'm going to have to run and get some more prayer potions in a second anyway. While slaying, I got a daily challenge done, so that's cool. Some nice experience. Oh, 500, 600 XP off. 30, and I need to go and get a new task. And I haven't even done the Lost City yet, so I'm going to go to get a task off Fanica. Don't give me a slimy task. What the hell is a shade? Okay, so the slow task I got was a big pile of slime, aka they were weak to range, and I didn't really want to bother getting range gear out to kill them. So I'm just going to quickly use my Gulas, which I'm just keeping since I ever did this quest. I haven't used any to use just to do these moments, just to skip me some levels, to get myself 30 Slayer. So now I can do Slug Menace, so now I'm going to go and do that now, and then I'll have my Proselyte Armor, and I can be done for the day and log off. And what the hell is my strength level? Okay, so I thought I was actually going to do Slug Menace in absolute record speed, but then I realised there was actually so much more to the quest. Like, I was down at the, under the, like, the in the shrine thing in, like, five minutes flat, and then I realised I had to go get all the runes and stuff, blah, blah, so time was added. But 24 minutes for the Slug Menace, not too bad, so that's done. And that gets me my Proselyte Robes, which is a goal, which has finished me for today. What in the hell is that thing? It looks rather scary. Whatever. Dungeoneering lamp, are you serious? I don't want this. So I'll take it anyway, thank you. Anyways, I'm going to buy myself some proselyte and then we are going to call that the day. So, no, 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 wrong one. I'm going to call that the day. So the whole goal today was just to get the proselyte armor, which I have now done. So I am, well, I'm done with it really. So that's quite good. So now I can start, I've got my gear pretty much for when I start training properly on the account. Nice prayer bonus and that beautiful. Anyways, let's be done. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching day 10, so pretty much the goal that was achieved today was the proselyte arm which I'm now wearing, which is obviously a fair few quests that I completed, so as you can see, my stats haven't really changed much, I don't think, so there wasn't that much progress today, but as long as I got the quests done that I needed to do, I'm rather happy with it. I think the main one would be the 50 attack along with the offhand whip and ruse giving it a bloody blah, everyone. That's about it, so thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode tomorrow.